Is there a cool quote? I'm gonna read a f nerd out. No man can kill me, and then he just yeah, yeah. stabs him in the face. Take that, you jerk. I am no man. Does that mean? Is that why? Who is it? It's Mary. Mary Which stabs him. Not in here. Because he's yeah, not yeah. a man. When I was reading the book as a kid, and Mary stabs him, I was like, suck in, he's not a man, he's a hobbit. FAQ. A man is a man, a man is a human. A woman is still a human. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yes. forgot about that. Some, Some people are jerks, but it's kind of funny because it makes it. Good. Oh, here we go. Are you ready? The Witch King is one of my favourite characters out of the whole lore. Besides Sauron, because he's like just Ripper, this is like my number, I reckon, second. Six Fix. I'm Dion. I'm Bill. And today we are opening all of our Dol Gordur goodies. Um, we've had to wait for them to be released. Um, uh, today's the release day, so we're giving them a crack. The Witch King is the greatest of beings known as the Nazgul and is the Dark Lord's most deadly lieutenant. Robed all in black, the Witch King has long since forgotten the man he used to be before he's gifted one of the rings of power. Amongst all the evils in Middle-earth, none save Sauron himself are more feared than the Witch King of Angmar. The one they say no living man can kill. The big jerk. That's sick. The big dog himself. Like... I'm excited to build this model. Very, very excited to build this model. It's plastic. It's only 55 bucks. Yeah, I thought it was going to be 70 like yeah. the rest of the characters, so it's like an AMA price, so 55 Yeah, I, I, I didn't realise AMA was 55. Um, uh, AUD, Australian dollars. Because it's only two models, and I like the Dernhelm or whatever, because you, yeah. you get the Hobbit on foot as well. So essentially, you get to build... Either or. Witch King on horse and Witch King mounted, but you get to give him the Morgul Crown, uh, or not the Morgul Crown. I'd be interesting to see how it goes, because obviously on the back here, the dude hasn't got the shoulder pads, but here he has, so... Oh, yeah! I'm cut mine open and Let's see if you can actually... do some sort of smart... So, which version of the Witch King are you going to build? I'll what build... I bought two, so I could do both, <laughs> obviously. Um, I did look, the smart thing. I found when I was looking through my stuff, the base. my stuff the other day, um, I found that I have four Witch Kings that go on the fell beast yeah um without the fell beast so i'm actually thinking potentially if i can make the flail the like horse head is so good yeah it's like a varon guard age of sigma oh, horse yeah, head it is too yeah that's really cool look at the i don't know if we can get a like zoom in on the detail I, i'm gonna take a photo do you want me to can, zoom in no nah, you're good i'm just gonna take a photo and i'll insert that in the video because the detail on the sword is ridiculous. Like actual, legitimately the most crazy even detail the cloak, ever. Like usually, like yeah. it's either it's either metal or it's fine cast. This is the first ever plastic ring wraith ever, right? And no, the ones on the front list. They don't count, like technically. Because if if you wanted to, you could you could almost just. Don't not stop talking, Bill. Stop talking. I, I know what you're gonna say. Buy nine of these. It. That's only 485 or 95, 500 bucks. Buy the one of those. Do you know what's crazy? Just that they'll all be the same pose. Do you know what's crazy? I think that's actually cheaper than buying the resin and metal mounted ones. It's like, what, 84, 84, 84, so what's that? 250 plus. 100 bucks. 350. So $130 more, but. Interesting. Every time when you set them up, just make sure you deploy them so they're all scared at the same thing because they're going to have the same pose. Yeah. That's it's my favourite character. I'm thinking about doing that. Only because I play Angmar is my favourite yeah. character. Yeah. But nah, the Witch King's badass. It's really cool. I love the pose of the horse. Um, uh, how he's like rearing away from the. What do they say in that Warhammer community article? The sculptor wanted it to look like even like the horse didn't want to be there. Like he's just like, ah, get away from me. Well, in the books, isn't his horse like just a flaming I think, being, or like it's, nah. it's it's that evil that they like? 
So I think it's either Mordor or I think it's Rohan. Rohan have been supplying horses to Mordor without knowing it for like getting catfish for a years. couple of horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously Rohan got yeah, no, like I, I need the 150 horses. horses, and then when he gets back to Mordor, he just gets stabbed, and they take all the. Horses. Well, really, the only the only people that use horses in Mordor are the Ringwraiths and the Mount Sauron. More knights and stuff. Upkeep would be but, way cheaper being Mordor. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Imagine being Rohan, you gotta pick up their poo, yeah. feed all those horses. Absolutely. Like, they live. Just pay some orcs and. Some <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Oh, look at this. Like his, um. His. Oh, well, we should have start. Yeah, 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 let's go. Let's go. Um, I think mine are the ones that, yeah, these are mine. The ones that are grinded. <laughs> Get a flat. I can't do it without the instructions. Yeah, oh, boy. So. Yeah, what are you what are you building him as? I'll build it with the non-crown because I already have about five with the crown. With the crown, yeah. Um, I don't actually. I don't think you even own a witch king. I've used a witch king. No, I've, I've got the metal one, the metal one on horse. I I don't actually have a witch king with the crown, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, which one's better? So I'm gonna build it on the foot, dude. Um, this is. I'll build one on horse then. We'll start there. This is really cool. I'm building it on foot, dude, so I don't stuff it up. Yeah, that's fair. So, looking at it... Yeah. It's only the front. So you sort of can't magnetise it, so you sort of got to pick one or the other. For $55, could you really be bothered? No, nah, but I'm just... <laughs> being a tight ass like that, that yeah. that's what... I was hoping it was going to be like a little top piece and it would sit, no, but... just slot it in and out. Could just like glue this wheel and put it in there, but... Yeah, gotcha. No, this is a, this is actually a really cool. Um, oh man. I I cannot express to you how insane the detail is on the metallic parts, like the pitting. Even the eye of Sauron on the horse has like little divots. That's why the metal ones are crap because the cars have been used so many bloody times. Yeah. You literally like on. I bought three sets of the Black Rider ones, obviously to make the nine. Yeah. And. Three ones that I got that with the same model, I had to like literally green stuff the eye because yeah. there was such a big gap because it'd been used so many. Like that's what 15, 16, yeah. maybe even more than that years old. That mold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can mine, only, mine weren't too bad. You can only clean a mold like yeah, so many times before. You before have to yeah, before you have to either just keep doing it and replacing it, but you get a better yeah. mold the next time, or just yeah, replace the mold. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, no, um, mine weren't too bad, but definitely like metal models, metal horses, trying to like push fill the gaps, that sucked. Oh, it's dead, because yeah. they just don't go on terrain well at oh, all. No, no way. And I do get why people say metal is better than resin, because you like literally go to pick up your model and you point at sword and it just flings off with resin. Did you just do what I just said to you, did? Just drop it. I just dropped it on the floor. What was it? Um, his chest, I don't know. Oh, you didn't snap it? Nah, grey carpet, so. grey model, not great. Thank you. Yeah, just when you hear it go, you know you've got it. No, this is sick. So what's your Witch King without the crown going to be for, for Yangmar? Um, either that, or I'll take him... So, pretty much the Witch King, right? He is the same amount of points as a normal ring wraith. Right? Because yeah. if you want to take the Morgul Blade, it's the only, only thing you can take is you can take the crown as a different option, or you can take a Morgul Blade, or you can take an Armoured Horse. Yeah. But you don't get like Heroic March, whatever like that. But for 70 points, it's just three extra points of will, which is 15 points and it's 50 points. It's just, you get more options with him, so like... Yeah, for sure. Plus I have like five. I have what? So in, in Angmar, what do you use the Witch King for? His uh, like you so when you take him with Angmar, I think is you have to take him with the crown straight off the bat. Mm -hmm. Before he goes on an armored horse, which you have to buy, you give him the crown. I don't, I don't believe the fell beast is needed when Angmar. playing in Angmar. No, or in Mordor, ever. in Mordor, yes, maybe yeah. if you're lucky. Yeah. 
Like, he is a wrecking ball because of the crown, you get three attacks plus your one for charging, you strength six on a fell beast. Yep. If not, I'm going to throw you. With with Angmar, you, you need him to sit behind and pull his 145 points for a, I think it's like 312-2 or a 213-2. A yep. Something like that. Like, that's 145 points. That's, that's justifiable to take in a... Yeah. In an army. So like, um... I think it's like, what, 225 max there. The way you play Angmar is you have everything together in a block, right? That and then, block tier. And then you take some wags and you just sort of like, feel like, it off or just... Yeah. Like, movement 10's a ripper. Anything that's better than movement 6 is always better. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. even if you move 8, like... eight, I think 8's not as good, but like, they're having a 7 point model that can move 10 inches, like... Movement yeah, 8 good. on infantry is real good. Because people don't often expect that. Because aren't goats eight? Yeah, goats eight. Yeah, like, um, but that's like, not so good. Um, good to bad ogres, good to bad berserkers, um, keepers, no, watchers, dwellers in the dark, in Moria, movement eight. Um, they have fly though, so they're not just... No, they, they have wings, but they have fly. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's only good of other. Yeah. Uh, Barrow has wings, also can't fly. I'll stitch up. Got it's you. parachute for oh, yeah. Gandalf. <laughs> when Gandalf come down, he like sort of puts him out. And Gandalf's like, "Yep, I'm jumping on that. And I'm we taking that." Then go team. That's a movie. Have you ever seen the A Team, the new A Team movie? I think so. They have a tank and it falls out of the plane. Yeah. And they use the yeah. cannon to like aim it into the lake. It's yeah. like that. Yeah. Just doing a source of blast. <laughs> like oh, that's boy. why, like. Gandalf is the OG, in my opinion. Yeah. Had the chance to leave and was like, you know what, nah, I'm gonna I'm do my deed for Middle Earth before I'm pissing off with Bilbo. He's not the only one, but he's the only one that you get to see in the movies to do that. Definitely. Well, like, Saruman always wanted to, he, he, he knew that there was a necromancer back, so he's like, I want to take that power. Yeah. Fuck this guy. I, I saw, I watched the, um... But who does this guy think he is? Taking my body, staff and power. To get colour schemes for all the uh, Dolgador terrain this morning, I watched, like, there was, a like, a series of videos on YouTube that were, like, all the scenes in uh, Dolgador. Um, but, yeah, it's really cool. I love it. Because when you see that the Necromancer is so strong, you actually see um, uh, Saruman start to behave differently when he realizes they can't actually beat the powers of Mordor. And uh, then he says something like... He leaves it too long to sh for him to strike yeah. Sauron, and then he's like, oh shit, I'm just gonna have to join the bloke. Yeah. Um, if you can't beat him, join him, right? Pretty much. It's like a union. If you can't <laughs> exactly. beat him, join him. Exactly. Oh my god. This... I'm a super glue mine on the base just in case... This goes to together one. like... You've got the horse... And then, where's it go? This just sits on top. I just literally just had it and now I messed it up. And it just wraps around so perfectly. Yeah, you definitely have to order nine of these early before the mold goes again. This is, like, this is ridiculous. I, but yeah, I definitely think you could convert these, like, with a little bit of green stuff skills. What the hell am I doing? Oh, there we go. A little bit of green stuff skills um, and some alternate models, like get, grab some more knights to make some, arm, some armored horses and stuff. I think you could really do some cool things with this. Um, Don't build them without the flail. Just why not? Oh God. Without the flail, I think. Because it has to either be. Oh no, you can have the flail and the sword. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm building mine without the crown, so he hasn't got the flail yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm building mine. Um, the ground. Uh, what's the Pelinor Fields? I'm building my Pelinor Fields spec because I don't actually own. Uh, Comes with the like lower horse tinted windows, <laughs> some subwoofers, fully sick. Big what tweeter. It? He's probably the dude that makes the grond noise when they grond. 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 That's just him rolling up on his fell beast, like this doing a mania, doing a mania of Pelinor on your bloody <laughs> fell beast. Now that's ball. That's exactly. Absolutely. He's a Where's the night of Umbar? He's always bloody late. <laughs> While he rocks up. Oh, hey, boys! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I think um, this may be my favourite uh, Middle Earth model. It's pretty good. Put it out there. Although I haven't built my Aemir 
yet. Uh, actual ridiculous. Big fan. So obviously Bill and I have a little bit of uh, terrain to build. Yeah. Uh, uh, a lot of terrain to build. Eight, ten? Eight. Eight. Eight boxes. Uh, eight boxes of terrain. And so when we build our Witch Kings we might crack open a box and have a little squeeze uh, and uh, drool all over it. But what do you reckon Bill? So we can crank out the terrain uh, pretty quick. Are we going to do a little bit of a challenge? A lot for anything. And me versus you, as I am the, uh, what does it say, expert at everything. Um, are we gonna, do you reckon we'll do a bit of a challenge? Yeah, I'm, I'm up for a challenge. So we split the, we split them in half, so what's that? Eight, four, uh, eight, four, four each. each. Good, good maths. Four each. Four plus four is good maths. Yeah. Um, are we gonna, what do you reckon, do like a... Six hours a box. Is that right? Is that 48 hours? No, no that's 24, 24 hours. No, I can't do that in 24 hours. You got a kid. <laughs> you have the 48 you have hours. 20. You reckon 48 hours? 12 hours a box. 12 hours a box, all right. That's to build and paint. Build and, and paint them? All right. And that, oh man, that'll, if we get that We'll done, have to pick a color scheme so then we can at least paint them so you can use them together. Whoever gets them all built first gets to pick the color scheme. <laughs> and so no, gonna be him. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Um, but that I'm more of a should, painter than a builder. That should. I'll smash the building. I'll suck at the painting. Yeah. But um, I think if my maths is correct, 48 hours, that'll bring us almost perfectly into the next time we film a game. Yeah. Monday. Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Monday. Monday. Because yeah. it's Friday. Uh, yeah. Sunday. But we Monday. might. Yeah, yeah. We, we so might. Sunday, um, so it might be up Monday, Tuesday. By the time doing it, it's Wednesday if you're lucky. Probably Friday. Because yeah. we both have things to do because yeah. we're both humans. Yes. I'm not Adults. a human. I'm a gremlin. But, gremlin. Uh, but yeah, look, I, I reckon if it's not oh, we might be able to cut it. We might be able to get we might be able to get it if we if we challenge it. So four boxes, man. That's rough. That's a lot of dry brushing. So I've seen a few of them build. Yeah. And like Depends how you build them. Yeah. I think I think if you want to do a proper board, you'd have to buy. Like if you wanted a whole dog, will do a board. I think you'd have to buy like eight to ten. I yeah. think to do a full castle, but I think you could get away with maybe two more than what we bought. So our whole. So the where my book go? There it is. The biggest board size we need for the scenarios, obviously, is thinking ahead. Four four. Is a... But not for the castle scenarios. They're always the longer. No, no, the last one. That's easy, that's just the forest. Six by four forest. Two by two, that's only one board no, tile. That one. Just, uh... So that's Three a long two, that's cool, easy. Two, two, two by four. Yeah, two by four. Two by two. Two by two. Maybe that's wrong. Two by two. So eight boxes should clear it easy. Oh, easy. So that means we can actually go to town. Uh, that's oh, a four, four by four. four. I think eight boxes would do that in general. It's a four by four for five dollars, dude. I think we should just build like a full on full ghetto, got double door. Are we gonna go like, are we gonna build them so they can spread out? Or we could like. I think if you build a modular, yeah. and then maybe if we've got some spare steps, use them as like a walkway. Oh, yeah. Because otherwise it's gonna like take forever. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna take my climb check. Oh, that's my turn. Turn yeah, 47. Yeah. Like, <laughs> cool, I gotta take a jump check. Yeah. Alright, I think that's cool. So, we'll make some makeshift walkways when you do it somehow. I've got some extra ruins and stuff to, to bulk it out that at some point in time we can paint up when it comes to if the scenarios. To like but a I think what's going to happen is I'm going to build my first one, fall in love, and then want to buy more. Unfortunately. It looks really good because you can like zigzag corridors. Yeah. I, I think it's great. Like Dion opened his, but yeah, we'll open that later if you get to yeah, we'll have a look at it. But yeah, oh, I couldn't resist. I, I waited. Um, I, I waited as, as long as I could, but I had to have a little peek. The same thing. But uh, upside down. This model goes together like beautifully. 
just not me as doing it. Not when you're trying to put your models in an upside down street or drop it on the carpet. But yes, definitely the sword's really cool. Yeah, man. I... This... This might be my favourite model. I just built the Gandalf model, that's a good model to put together as well. Oh Gandalf yeah. Gandalf the White, yeah. No, I feel one of them. Yeah, you did for your Ministerial Army. Yeah, I only built the on one. Oh. No, you built the... Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Um, but yeah, the, the, the Middle Earth plastics have been phenomenal. Um, beats uh, fine cast or metal. Absolutely. Even beats the plastics. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But no, like, you know, imagine... So... The only campaign supplement we got where we didn't get a new plastic model was the Shire, right? Yeah, they only gave me the Forge uh, World options. Technically, you've only got... Gave the nah, World. technically you've got um, Merry and Pippin in Gandalf and... Oh, yeah, but they're... Kind of. But they're not their own things. So that's how I used them. I ended up buying yeah. Dermine for the dude. Um, Imagine Mary goes with him, Pippin goes with Gandalf. Yeah, because he's a little shit. Oh um, me, little shit. Full of a tool. We're going. But imagine the next the next book. Well, the, it was meant to be this book before the fall of the Necromancer, but now it's after fall of the Necromancer. Is the Dale. Erebor and Dale? Imagine if we get like a plastic Hobbit characters. I mean, probably not, because I've already bought them out from Forge World. But imagine... Who would you, who, who could you make Plastic Hop? Azog would be sick. Do a Plastic Azog, even though he's not in that battle. But imagine if you... If you had an Azog like this, that had all the different weapon options, and you could give him armor, you could give him the flail. If you... How sick would that be? Oh my god, what a potato. But... Thrain, so Thrain, Thrall... Um, young Dwalin, no, yeah, and young Thor, and they're in that, right? But in the movie, that's you see dudes with spears, they don't have spears, that'd be good. Oh, fair. Um, so when they're defending East Links, all the dwarves, literally all the dwarves go there to help them, don't they? And then they just get fucking massacred. And they just so it's, it's not in the movies because it actually happens the, 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 the bit with all you see is where he gets a dude, gets his head cut off, and that's it. Well, no, that's, no, before, that's, before, that's before, yeah, that's yeah. before. Um, so the can't do multiple things at once. My brain is really good. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you the other foot do it first. Because then you get half of it up here. Right, middle. <laughs> Doopity doop. Yep, no, got it. It does have very long legs. Boy, you could. Like he definitely should be playing basketball. This in would, Mordor. This He's would a very make cool a, guy. a dope Morgan Knight captain as well. Yeah, all you'd have to do is just cut the middle one or just shape it. So yeah. it's just a little crown instead of being the big the big one, yeah. Who is it? Um, Boom. He just keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> uh what was I gonna say? I was saying something. Uh, oh yeah, so basically what happens in Erebor and uh, Dale. The Easterlings are sent there by Sauron, and this is happening during the War of the Rings, so the Lord of the Rings movies, to stop Erebor and Dale coming and reinforcing um, the free men. Uh, the Easterlings were basically a sacrifice. So the Easterlings, even though you kind of see them, um, you see them heading to Mordor, and are they at Pelennor Fields? Who? The Easterlings? Nah, because they're attacking. Yeah, they're going off to attack her one day. Makes sense. Uh, so essentially, Sarah just kind of throws their lives away um, and it stops the dwarves. Pretty much just wants to hit both fronts at the same time. Pretty much like Hitler. Wait, to try to take too much land at yeah, the same yeah, time. First. And he went to Russia, I mean, um, Dale <laughs> to at the same time, and he used too many of his resources, <laughs> and that was it. Stitched himself up. Yeah. Got, got overconfident. Um, yeah, definitely. Really cool um, thing. You got old man Dane Ironfoot. You've got um, Bard's Bard the Bowman's grandson. You've got um, Dane Ironfoot's son, 
who becomes the next king under the mountain after Dane passes away. Really, really, really cool stuff. Like, absolutely, I think it's going to be uh, a banger book. There's going to be some dope scenarios because that's got some big, big stuff. But you're saying about the um, when they're outside Moria, um, when Azog fights yeah. Thror, you see uh, when when the when Smaug attacks Erebor, you see Erebor dudes with bows. Yeah. You see. Um, and in the, the Goblin Town scenes, you also see Goblin Town goblins with bows. Yes, yeah, because they're trying to shoot it. Yes, yeah. and then there's like, no no models for that, which yeah. is super upsetting. That's just old mate, old mate Pete Jackson or whatever. Adding yeah, some just extras. creating it, doing whatever he wants. Which is number four. I'm a big fan. I actually did make some Airborne Warriors with uh, bows because I was like, eh, do what I want. They're both hard to pick from, like, which, which is the better era. It's like when you're like picking your parents, like, which one was the better era to live in? Your parents or mine now? Yeah. Like, uh... I do at some point want to get you, maybe coach, sit down, have a couple of beers, and watch the Lord of the Rings and the Hollywood movies. I think that would be fantastic. A bit of fun. A few um, beers. Absolutely, a few too many. Me probably just giving coach an absolute pummeling for being a being coach. Yeah. Coach being coach, look out. This it just looks like a witch king. I, I know it's meant to, but it just looks like it's just stepped out of the movie. Like just so cool. Got me a little horse happening. Um, oh, yeah, no, just, think too, he's had too many beers. No, I don't, I don't know what base I'm going to put him on yet. I just super glued mine so it likes to put a little bit on it so I just held it. You can know, always snap it off. Uh, piece number 21. Oh, okay. So, you can't give him the flail while he's on the you only get one flail. Then you have to. Okay. It doesn't give you the option for that. It only gives you the option. While he's on the horse, he gets a sword. What happens if you take the flail? I guess you can take both, don't you? You've already come with sword, you take the flail. Um, so I might have to get. I reckon if you cut it off with the sword and cut it off, because that's the start of the flail, where's this? Oh, Just cut it off from. Chain goes past his yeah. There's just jump there. Come on, game through shop. I mean, I mean, in theory, he doesn't actually pull out the flail until he steps off the fell beast. Pretty much. So, I mean, when he's on horse in, in any of the movies or that, he's only he's going to find. Um, yeah, he's a black rider. He doesn't actually ever have the Morgul crown while he's on the horse. He's going to find Bilbo, which yeah. then Frodo's already <laughs> got the ring, but he's already got the ring and he's already on the run. <laughs> Um, and then the, most of the rest of it, he's on a fell beast. Yeah. I think you're probably... It's a lot easier taking a fell beast than a horse through a middle of. Oh, yeah. Don't have to find Unless you get the luxury spaces. of an eagle. Way easier to find parking spaces. Um, you just, you know, you're heli you heli down to someone's oval. A fell beast or an eagle? Uh... Like, if you look, they're both pretty much the same size in the law, they're both like a, you know, like a 30 meter wingspan. I think an eagle wins because a fell beast has that dumb long neck. That get eagle in the way, you're like, like a giraffe yeah, trying yeah, to attack yeah, 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 it, exactly. and the eagle will just get in. Yeah, that's, that's my thoughts. Fell beast are giraffes, that's where you heard <laughs> Now I want to paint off a fell beast like a giraffe. Um, that would actually be sick for like, come all the Eastling. Do him up like a Middle East, uh, Middle East, um, give his fell beast two humps. One. <laughs> it's a so he doesn't have to replenish his water. <laughs> this would be the only good thing about being a race. Like, you, you wouldn't have to pay, you wouldn't have to pay for shopping at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say, like 300 bucks a week shopping. We're gonna do is pay your rent to Sauron. Yeah. Might cut off the wrong sword. 
Ah, oh, so good. Big fan, you start doing the boss board here. Yeah. Wait, I was taking too long. No, I don't think it will close forever. That's dope. Yeah, I'm not going to do a dismount. So, no, I, I probably will just build. I don't know if I want to build the flat. It does, it does look cool, so I probably will do that. While building that, I am going to. Let's see. I can build it after. Let's get this. Make it easy, no point. So I'm not going to start building the ruins of Dolvador because that will violate our 48 hour challenge policy. I'll let you smell it and touch it. New plastic, my fave. Um, so... Really modular. Three sprues. They're all very like thin, streamlined um, sprues. And on the outsides they like give you the... That, that's oh, actually yeah. a part. Oh yeah. Oh, that's... Witch King. Really, really cool. The texture in the stonework is freaking amazing. Like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is... Just start clipping. I'll let you clip it. Nah, I'll give you no, 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 no. I don't want to start clipping it out without like, then we the instructions. But like, it's really cool. There's a lot of stonework, it's got all the metal bandings and stuff. Um, it looks exactly like it looks in the movie. Fantastic. About like two or three years ago. How long have you been on the channel? How long has Stevie been gone? He left February. So nearly, nearly no. two years. Getting close to two years. Yeah, it was like March. Mm. Yeah. yeah, Jesus Christ. So, poor Stevie. Essentially, poor Bill. <laughs> I'm gonna put up with me. Um, so essentially, maybe two, two and a bit years ago, I was planning on making this because Stevie and I were playing through the Hobbit movie scenarios and I was like, at some point in the future, we gotta do the necromancer stuff. And I thought and thought and thought and struggled and- Never would've <sighs> thought of how they'd done this. They did a really good job. Fantastic, like, oh my God. Like, why would you cut because obviously I've been making my helms deep. I've been cutting some foam and, and texturing and stuff. Like, why would you try to make Dogadur when this exists? Like, this is ridiculous. It's very well proportioned to how like, the pavers yes. and the bricks are. A lot of like, yeah. when you see like, a lot of people build like a Minas Tirith or like something like that, like their bricks are really high. Like it's, it's like the size of, in between a hobbit and a man. Yeah. So like, they're sort of too big. In their shit. Even my, um, let's say the pyramids, then they just get. Even my helms deep stuff, like, let me just jump up and get one of these. Like, my Helm's Deep bricks are huge in comparison. But, building Helm's Deep, you really don't want to be doing yeah. this many bloody... No, well, actually, look, my bricks aren't super... They're almost the same. No, yeah, no, not never mind. Oh, these papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's it's interesting, like, looking at the, the scale uh, of it. It's, it's, it's pretty spot on. But yeah, super modular. I'm very, very keen to build one in sub-assemblies, have a bit of a play around before I build the rest of them. I think you need to build like three or four main structures. And then because yeah. it's so modular, it's like out. your second story can then be a second story all be on the table. Yeah. It's so like a little ruin, here, if that makes sense. Here you've got um, the uh, the ground floor, the top floor goes on top of that, and then the little bit of the ruins go on top. So in theory, you could just stack another second floor on top of the second floor yeah. and keep going and going and going and actually make a tower. I think that could be really, really cool. But I've got to figure out how we're going to paint it, or we got to figure out how we're going to paint it. Easiest way possible. If it's, if it's 48 oh, yeah. hours, yeah, yeah, easiest absolutely. way possible. Because yeah, I, Getting in early, there's not going to be a ton of mold lines for these. Um, and I think, realistically, oh, no, actually, that's not like, So there is going to be some bits. Well, see, this sprue yeah. actually goes onto the face. Yeah, so you're going to have to actually cut that flat, otherwise, the bits won't go together. 
Doesn't seem to be too many of those, but um, yeah, just little things like that. The cleanup when you're building lots of terrain. I think if you hack on the inside there, it doesn't really matter. No, it, do it doesn't. But you need to make sure you get it yeah. so that the two surfaces go together flush. Um, and when most normal people would probably only build one ruins of dog at a time, yeah. not like four, um, like us madmen. So I think, yeah, the important thing to note will be to, um, to yeah, make sure you do the prep work so it goes together super, super smooth. But yeah, I'm real, oh man, I'm so excited. Little skulls. This is sick. Do you know why it's sick? Because there's Middle Earth scale skulls. Because the Age of Sigma so ones are a little skull. bit too big. Yeah. A little bit. They work, but they're just like a little bit too big. That's sick. Did you finish him? Ah, uh, no, not yet. You go. Nah, no, 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 I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Because, um, I reckon, I reckon I might, um, do a bit of a stream. Oh my God, I just keep looking at final little details. I just keep finding like little tiny details. So, look at all these dangly skulls. Look at these trees, I'm gonna snap them up again. Look at, look at these skeletons. See the helmet? Or, um, or is it nah, mystery? it's just a lost... Ah, oh, Dogodur. Who owned Dogodur? The elves. Thrandrels. Thrandrels bloodlines. Got the... Was it Sylvanel? Or what were they uh, there? Sylvan elves. That's... Oh my god. That excites me. Arrgh. Far out. How many trees do you get on just the two? Uh, these yeah. two vines and a tree. That's it. So um, you get a few trees out of it. Yeah. But, because they go... Because they're only half, they go up against the walls. Oh, uh, look at... Oh, I've thought of everything. So, so that these go flush up against the wall, it's yeah, actually got the indents. Spot. Indents for the wall. We can actually glue it to the wall. Yeah. But it'll sit flush. That's real cool. Big fan. Oh, little padlock on the... Oh, front camera. Little padlock on the uh, little gate there. Oh, man. There's a lot to all that in. I'm going to have a lot of fun. These are real spiky, Bill. Real spiky. Be very careful. I'm probably going to skip the trees. And not do that, because it's going to make it a lot more longer than it Difficult needs to be. To paint, yeah. Yep. We can always paint them and add them on later. Six stone work, six sick metal work, middle earth scale skeletons. That's excellent. I could not be happier with how they look. I think uh very nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. What's that? Very nice. Very nice. Rich King, a Bangmar, awesome model. Follow the Necromancer book, awesome book, the dice. I haven't even opened any dice, Bill. I can't even look at the These are actually real nice. Obviously, on the D66, we don't open dice till we're ready to use them. But look at that, you can actually see the skull. Very crisp. And yeah, on the photo like, in Games Workshop, they really don't. They kind of like a little bit spooky and see through. But yeah, the photos made them look a lot more difficult to read. And the sound ones are dope as well. I'm really confused myself. What are you doing for? I didn't build it. Oh, you need the sword. No, no, the dude on horse, sorry. <laughs> Which one? Boop. Okay, so it goes like along the... Yeah, yeah, that took me ages. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
took me ages to figure it out. I'm definitely putting his foot in upside down the whole yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Such a dope model. That's right, I'll do that up. That's sick. Um, so yeah, overall, very happy. Uh, should we do a little ending? Because yeah. then you can use it for both, because we're both wearing the same shirt. True, true, true. Go for it. Right, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to uh, Rabble for the last whatever. God knows how Better. long. Yeah. Um, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Uh, just the D6 Fix. Uh, jump on our Discord. There's a lot of new channels. Dion's been there. Mr. Admin, adding a few. If you're not observant, uh, they're actually below the screen. The the Facebook page and the Discord. The D6 Fix. Um, Makes it easier. Uh, don't forget to like uh, to subscribe. Yes. On our YouTube channel. Yes, so absolutely. Uh, hit the little bell. Obviously, so you get a little ding. We're super, super close. I never thought I'd ever say this. We're super close to a thousand subscribers. I think when I started, we were at like eight hundred and something. Nah, it was less than that. It was like I think it was like five hundred and thirty, and that's when Stevie was still Jeez. editing. Yeah, that's when Stevie was still editing. I know we've had a few like little hiccups in between. Yeah. But then, yeah. So we were really close, like, I didn't think we'd ever get to a thousand, I thought we'd get to like 600 and then it would just max out and then that I, was it. I said to Stevie back in the day, I was like, no more than 10 people are ever going to watch our videos, yet here we are. So, um, I, I was looking at the analytics and stuff, it's not something we super care about, but I was just curious and um, like, a lot of our views come from our subscribers, which is fantastic, which means like, the people who want to watch our videos. Oh, like a diehard fan, not yeah. even, if that's the word. Yeah, like you're, you're part of the D66 family, which I think is like amazing. Um, and we've got all this amazing support, so. so yeah, just don't, don't forget to subscribe, so like, obviously the more people we get, like so the close more to people we get, the more stuff we can get, yeah, the, more, sure. the more content we can give you. Um, help us help you, if, that, yeah. if that's the word Absolutely. you want to use. Um, we love doing this, it gets a little bit painful and expensive at times but Very uh, expensive. but we do it because we love it um so yeah like and subscribe etc etc and then don't forget to follow us on instagram so i'm dirt underscore bristles and then dion is at hardcore underscore hobby he didn't stuff it up again two, that's two, two in a row two in a row um going for a hat trick next so time. yeah i've been super not active on uh, in, um, on instagram because i haven't actually done any hobby in ages um i've been doing i did a little bit of homework for this. Yeah, yeah, he did. But you can't see it until you get to see it. Exactly, it's a surprise. Should we, uh, we're gonna tell them, we're gonna do scenarios or we're just gonna. We're gonna do the scenarios. Everyone, come we're, do, we're doing the campaign, we're doing the cool thing. We just need to decide who, who's going. Who's good with people. You don't need the name. You wanna play good. I wanna be good, but I'm gonna roll the dice. Oh! Do we want one of these? I have to wear, I have to do a ring, don't I? Uh, it makes sense. Alright, your house, your roll, or um, home ground advantage. Look, so what's the... Whatever I roll, 1, 2, 3 is evil, 4, 5, 6 is good. Cool, because I'm playing evil. Feel the playing evil, I'm playing good. But anyway, let's play. No, you, uh, honestly, you play the good guys if you want. No, I, I I'll honestly, play the evil guy. I I'm usually the jerk, so you're the nice guy, so you have to be good. I think... I miss the jerk and just be like, cool, your stuff's dead, suck to you. Yeah, yeah. Either way, it'll be interesting. Um... I really don't care. Me either. Yeah, I think it'll just be fun. I think I think most of the scenarios are set to the go game. the way that the story goes. Absolutely. Um, um, something cool. Something yeah, that for sure. We're actually organised with for once. Yes, Bill has been like actual smashing it out. I've been doing bugger all uh, hobby wise. Which is usually the other way around. Yeah. I've been trying to perfect my skills of editing and, and doing lots of stuff, getting more to grips with the tech side. Now we have lots of dogadur, so stay posted. Um, are you gonna record yourself doing the ruins? We got a little video. Yeah, I think we're supposed to. Yep, sick. So um, that'll be coming in a couple of weeks. We'll slot that in to the schedule. The what is it? Forty-eight hour challenge. Forty-eight hour we'll challenge. We'll try and do the best we can to Done. in the littlest time we have. Absolutely. Four boxes of them each, which will make eight, and then we'll try and make. That last scenario that's in a two by four, the literally the whole of the door. Yeah, yeah, just make it shockers. <sighs> See, the thing is, part of me is like, do I just try to outdo Bill? But the other part of me is like, I don't really have time. I think, <laughs> I'm, th I think I'm going to be that stupid that I'm going to have to build one the way it is, 
and then I'll be like, alright, cool, so that's the shape that it should be going off of. Do I try and find a smoke machine and make it like real cool? Like when we play the scenario. We'll just like hire a guy just to smoke smokes in here and just. Just get his bait? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think. We got, I got some cool ideas. Got some cool ideas. Essentially, this is going to make the table look really sick. I might do up a new table. I've got some extra realm of battle boards that look a bit crap. So we'll see. We'll figure out. I'm working out. on some other stuff, so it can be really dense yes, if it needs to absolutely. be. Absolutely. But um, yeah, follow us on all the socials. Thank you for watching. We know everyone else has already done videos for this, but we thought um, I am the expert of everything. Bill is also just quite knowledgeable. Just the guy that just gives some advice. He's the guy. He's the guy. Um, we both have opinions. We thought you might like to hear them. Catch you next time. Ripper.